Right, so today Ed embarks on his brand new career and Liz says goodbye to Riley. So a few weeks ago, Liz decided that given Ed had called off the wedding, it was time for her and Riley to return to San Diego. Although Ed said that the two were welcome to stay as long as they needed, Liz said that he was becoming impossible to live with. So as Ed watched on emotionlessly, she packed up some of their things and moved out. Now, however, just two weeks on, Ed is already missing her. You know, you do miss the relationship, so I'm kind of lonely. But I still feel confident in the choice I made not to marry Liz. You know, I hate to admit it, but Ed not being reactionary when his emotions get to him might actually be progress. Still, he just had to reinforce the idea that this whole thing was his decision, didn't he? Anyway, with nothing but work for him to focus on now, Ed is pouring himself into his new career in real estate. He's now working for a broker in Northwest Arkansas called Mitzi Taylor, and today she's giving him a practice tour around one of their properties. Whilst testing his skills and knowledge, she guides him into the kitchen and asks him if he notices what's missing. Missing. Um, maybe a refrigerator. A refrigerator. Do you remember why from class? Yes, I do. Because it's not personal property. Of course he notices the fridge isn't there. Everyone knows that that's where you're supposed to keep eggs. This is his home inside of a home. Unfortunately for Ed though, despite answering smugly and standing there waiting for a medal like a 57 year old Russell from Up, he unsurprisingly got it wrong. And when he gets corrected, listen to how much he talks over her. The no, refrigerator it, is personal oh, right. property. Me, it it's is. movable. Right. It's on wheels. Remember that when you're showing clients it. Oh, I know. This is right. important. You listening? Okay, yeah. good. I don't know how Mitzi's going to put up with this. Ed is irritating to watch, let alone deal with in real life. And the fact that he absolutely cannot stand to be wrong must just make him impossible to teach. Anyway, whilst all of this is somewhat exciting for Ed, he can't ignore the fact that he was supposed to be doing all of this with Liz. They had planned to take their exams, qualify, and start a business together. But now he's working for someone he doesn't know all by himself. It's a bittersweet moment. I mean, up until about a few weeks ago, I thought I'd be doing all of this with Liz. And now, you know, she's gone. And thank goodness. They fought enough as it was living together. Can you imagine them working together all day too? I think they'd explode. Also, imagine the two of them showing you around a property. They'd be bickering before you step foot through the front door. Just knowing that they live somewhere in the vicinity would be enough to send most prospective buyers packing. Perhaps even considering moving to an entirely different state. Well, Ed goes on to say that in the past, he would convince himself that if he didn't make things work with Liz, he'd never find anybody else. However, he insists that now he's not going to make that mistake again. I want to be strong and I want to know that there is somebody out there for me. Nothing wrong with Liz. It's just not her. It actually pains me that there's some poor soul out there that's going to be Big Ed's next girlfriend. That is, assuming that he and Liz don't get back together for a 14th time and that he doesn't end up alone, neither of which I feel confident ruling out. Speaking of Liz, today she's taking Riley to the airport. Liz has summer vacations and school breaks with her, and then she sends her off for term time to be with her father and stepmother in another country. And this time, as they get ready to say goodbye, Liz apologises for how things have gone this summer. Sorry, this summer didn't go as planned. It's okay. We still had fun. Are you going to miss Ed? Yeah. Yeah. She has got the slight advantage of being nowhere near as emotionally attached, but it's still shocking how a 10 year old continues to be the most mature and optimistic person in this entire saga. I'm sure she will miss Ed somewhat, but given he was only really in her life as a full time stepfather figure in her home for a few weeks, hopefully Riley can forget about him pretty easily. Unfortunately, I don't think it will be so easy for Liz, who says that there are times when she wishes she never met him. If I didn't give my time to Ed, maybe I could have met someone who would have treated me better. It is Ed's fault for treating her that way, but the fact that it took her three years to realise that Ed wasn't treating her right means that she just wasted so much more time with him than she should have. Though I guess, as they say, better late than never. Hopefully at least she's learned her lesson and her brief return trip to Arkansas to gather the rest of her things will be the last she ever sees of Ed. Still, as she leaves the airport and begins her drive back home, saying goodbye to Riley so soon after losing Ed has her feeling more alone than ever. So she decides to give her mum Patty a ring for some emotional support. Does Ed even know that she's gone? No. Has he even called you? No. God, what a prick. 
Someone finally said it. Patty is so real. I actually cannot imagine the disgust and hatred she must have for this man. She probably also feels like somewhat of a fool for giving Ed another chance and believing him when he said that he wanted to marry her daughter and spend the rest of his life with her. Though I think she might be being a little bit biased here. Ed already said his goodbyes to Riley and he did break up with Liz. So I don't know why Patty would expect him to be keeping up with anything other than Liz going to collect the rest of her stuff. Anyway, Liz then breaks down into tears saying that everybody knew this would happen, but she had faith that it wouldn't. She also says that she truly believed that things were different after their therapy on the last resort. And so now she just feels naive and embarrassed. If I had any thought that this was gonna happen, I would have never had Riley involved in this. I would have, I would have never done any of this. How did she not have any idea that this would happen? This was the most obvious outcome of them all. If this was fully scripted, you'd be booing the writers for such a predictable turn of events. But to be honest, even if she had predicted that this would happen, what else could she have done differently? If she was gonna commit to marrying Ed, moving in made sense. And I don't know if she even could have given Riley up for the holidays. Either way, it doesn't seem like the breakup has affected Riley that much. So I don't think she should feel too bad about that. I don't have an apartment. I don't have a job. <laughs> And now that Riley is gone, I am here alone. Hmm, that is both of them that have spoken about how lonely they are now. And it has only been two weeks. How long until they feel like their loneliness is more unbearable than being in their toxic relationship? Though this time, Ed really has pushed her. Coming back from this would require levels of shamelessness and forgiveness that we haven't seen from Liz before. Out of all the selfish, terrible things that Ed has ever done, this is by far the worst. Whilst I agree that he's done a lot of terrible and selfish things, I don't know if that applies to him breaking up with her. The way he treated her and went about the breakup, definitely. But I feel like the anger that she feels towards him is clouding her analysis of what's going on here. It's the same as in the last video where she said that she felt used. This isn't one of those times where Ed is wronging her, he's just breaking up with her. And for good reason. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do next, but at some point I do need to go back to Arkansas. This could really be it, especially with how certain Ed sounds. But given the rumours that the wedding took place in spite of all of this, and the way that they're talking about being lonely, I would not be surprised if they got back together when Liz returned to Arkansas. Well, whatever happens, that day is coming soon. So if you want to find out what happens, make sure you're subscribed down below. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.